Hi guys, it's Hany here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make brushstroke ghost cake. Really cute and super easy cake for Halloween. I am using my easy vanilla sponge cake and the German buttercream to fill the cake. Both of the recipes are posted on my blog. Links are in the description box. So to start, we're gonna make the ghosts. To make the ghost, I am using white candy melt. So we're just gonna melt the candy melts over a pot with simmering water. And then uh, we're gonna line the work surface with a piece of wax paper and then put about teaspoonful mounts of melted chocolate onto the wax paper. Use back of the spoon to shape the chocolate and then let it harden. While it's setting up, I also melted some dark chocolate candy melts and I put the chocolate into a piping bag. And uh, we're gonna use that to make the eyes and the mouth. After you are done piping the mouth and the eyes, you can uh, let it set again and then uh, simply remove the ghosts from the wax paper and store these in a refrigerator until you are ready to use them. Like I mentioned before, I am using my easy vanilla sponge cake and I baked two 6 inch cakes. I am going to tort all of them and also trim the top, so total we're gonna have four cake layers. Here I'm using raspberry jam and then I'm gonna top it with chocolate German buttercream. To make the chocolate German buttercream, I used my vanilla German buttercream and I melted some chocolate, let it cool, and then I added melted and cool chocolate to this buttercream along with some cocoa powder. Once you are done with layering all the cake and the filling, stick it in a fridge for about 30 minutes until the buttercream firms up and then you can trim the sides with serrated knife. Now that you are happy with or I'm happy how it looks, I'm just gonna give it a quick crumb coat with uh, chocolate buttercream and then I'm gonna stick it into the fridge. So while that's chilling we can make the purple buttercream. Because I have a really hard time finding really good purple food coloring, I am going to use electric pink and sky blue food coloring to get a really nice shade of purple. And now we're just going to ice the whole cake with this pretty purple buttercream. I'm also going to make a um, dark purple buttercream by adding more electric pink and sky blue and then mixing it well and here I'm just adding a little bit of it onto my finished cake and then we're going to smooth it out once again I'm also going to add a little bit of buttercream on the top, darker purple I mean, and then we're going to stick it into the refrigerator until buttercream firms up. I've never done a marshmallow cobweb design on a cake, so this is a new one for me. We're gonna melt the marshmallow on high for about 30 seconds or so, and then we're gonna stir it well. I'm sure you've seen this technique done many times. And this was really fun. So wait for the marshmallows to cool a little bit if it's too hot for you to touch it, but don't wait too long because then it's gonna be really hard to work with. So you have to find that middle, middle ground for you, whatever works. And then um, just wrap it in the marshmallow. Don't, don't think about it too much. There is no pattern going on here. I'm just trying to get it onto the cake basically. If it gets too cool, you can always microwave the marshmallow for 
few more seconds. Once you're happy with your design, run to your kitchen sink and wash your hands. And now we are ready to add the ghosts. So to add the ghosts onto the cake, you just have to arrange them and glue them onto the cake. Initially I was using my purple buttercream, but I ended up using white chocolate instead because I didn't like how buttercream looked on my ghost. So you could kind of see the dark buttercream through the white. And also um, one thing I learned, the marshmallow made the cake a little slippery. So I ended up uh, scraping the part of the marshmallow off where I attached the ghost. So to glue the ghost onto the cake, I am using white chocolate that I melted and you're just gonna have to hold the ghosts in place for a few seconds and then continue adding more of them. I'm just gonna add one more ghost here and then we are done. Oops, catch this one, it's falling over, so hold it in place for a few seconds. And here is the finished cake. I love how the cobweb design looks. It was so fun and really, really easy to do. And now let's see what it looks like inside. As always, I love adding raspberry jam or any kind of tart filling to my cakes because I like how it uh, complements the sweetness of the buttercream. But clearly you can fill your cake with anything you guys like. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell button so you get notified about all new uploads. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.